What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and InScape tutorial for you. So it's been a little while, but I wanted to continue my series on creating an office rendering inside of SketchUp and InScape. And so in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the options for adding interior lighting to our scene. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so what we've done what we've done up to this point is we've come in here and we've created our kind of a night scene with a uh, with an HDRI image, and I will link to the information about all of that in the notes down below. But what we want to do now is we want to use InScape's lighting settings in order to create some artificial lighting inside of this image. Right now, this whole thing is being lit by the the HDRI image in the background. So what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to add some lights. And so this is going to be kind of a two step process um, in order to do this. So the first step or the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna come in here and you can see how right now none of these lights are lit up inside of InScape. What we want to do is we want to add both lights in here and we also want to create we want to make this so that these materials inside of these objects are emitting light as well to make this look like a light. And one nice thing about this is you can see how um, when I come in here and I select all of these if I look in my outliner inside of SketchUp, these are all in here, even though they're not labeled very well, they're all in here as components. And you can see how those are in here as components, um, and you can tell because they have the little brackets around them. Well, the nice thing about that is if we add an emitter material to one of these, it's gonna get added to all of them. And so let's actually start off, just to give you kind of an idea what this would look like, let's add a rectangle light inside of each one of these components. So before I add my light, what I've done is I've double clicked inside of this component so that I can come in here and I can put this inside of the light. That means if I add a rectangle light in one of them, it's gonna get added in the others as well. And so inside of InScape, you can find the rectangle light in the InScape objects. And so you click on InScape objects and that's gonna give you a number of different options, including sound sources and linked models. Well, we specifically wanna focus on the lighting. And for this one, I wanna focus on a rectangle light. So I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna draw a rectangle light. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this in here. Um, I'm just going to make it face downward if I can. It doesn't seem to wanna to let me do that. So one thing about the placement tools in here is it, it can be a little bit tricky getting this where you want it to be. Um, I know the options are supposed to make it a lot easier, but for me it's just a little bit of a struggle to get this to kind of go where I want it to go. So I'm going to try to make this point straight down as much as I can. And what that's going to do is that's going to add a rectangle light inside of InScape. And I'm going to have to come back in and replace this because this isn't straight up and down. But you can see how now if you look inside of InScape, you've got this interior of this office space is actually a lot more well lit than it was before. And you can see how this light's kind of in the wrong location, so it's kind of like running into this stuff and that kind of thing. We're going we're gonna to work on that, so we're going to kind of align that using the rotate tool inside of SketchUp in order to make this straight up and down. So there's probably an easier way to do this, but I just was not able to get that aligned really the way that I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate this so that it's flat and I'm just going to move it down a little bit using the move tool. So I'm just placing this geometry myself. And then once you do that and you kind of start, once you kind of get that placed where you want it to be, then you can come back in here and there's a tool in here for move light. Well, what the tool for move light is going to do, and this is actually really handy, is this is going to let you resize this light just by clicking on one of these boxes so I can size this light so it fits about where this light is inside of your model. And one note about this is you probably wanna make sure that this is uh, just slightly below the face right here if you can, just because otherwise you might get a little bit of a intersection in here with this light with your geometry. Um, so if I move this up, for example, you can see how I'm getting kind of weird artifacts inside of InScape because I'm intersecting that with this object. So you wanna make sure this is just kind of hanging down below um, just a bit inside of your model. 
And so one thing you're going to notice now is even though your model is well lit inside of Inkscape, the problem is that these lights aren't actually lit up. And the reason for that is because the rectangle lights that we've created aren't actual geometry inside of this model. So they're kind of a placeholder for a location that's emitting light. But we need to come in here and we need to apply a material to this face that's actually lit up to give us the look of um, a lit up material material like a real light would have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here I'm just going to right click on this inside of my outliner and I'm going to hide that light for a second because it's kind of in the way. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a material to this object inside of Inkscape. So I'm just going to apply a custom material that shouldn't be anywhere else inside of Inkscape. Um, so in this case I just selected a gray color. It doesn't really matter what color you select. And then I'm going to go into my Inkscape Materials Editor and I'm going to edit that material, that color M01. I'm going to check the box for self-illumination. And so what that's going to do is that's going to make this material inside of Inkscape an emitter. So what that means is anywhere that material is, it's now going to emit light. And you're going to notice that it doesn't actually emit enough light in here to actually light the scene. I mean, you could like really drag this up and do that, but you can see how even then the auto brightness doesn't really like that. So what we're doing is we're combining the emitter material that's been applied to this light with the Inkscape lights. Well, now I'm going to come back into my object inside of a SketchUp and I'm going to unhide that Inkscape light. So now what I have is I have a light in here that you can see right here that's emitting the light. You can see how we're getting a shadow off of that and then I have an emitter in here that's actually emitting light from the material so it looks like this light is actually lighting up the scene. And so you can adjust the brightness of this emitter material. You can see how it's a little bit better of an effect in here when uh, you have your rectangle light in there as well. You can also affect the brightness of your rectangle light using the Inkscape object settings. So if you want this to be brighter, you can drag this this way. Um, so you can kind of make that do whatever you want it to do. And so let's say that we wanted to come in here for these uh, these uh, ceiling can lights and do the same thing. So let's say I wanted to edit each one of these ceiling can lights and the nice thing about this is these are also in here as components. So let's say I wanted to edit these can lights. Well all I would have to do is just come in here and I would probably, it looks like It looks like these are a very simple object in here. So probably what I would do is, it looks like they're just a cylinder right now. Probably what I would do in this situation is I would just select this and do an intersect faces with model like this. So what that would do is that would give me an edge right here and then I could draw a line across this and theoretically create a face. It doesn't, there we go. So that kind of created a face in here. I would probably push pull that down just a very, very, very little bit just so it's hanging below that ceiling material. And I would just reverse that face. Well then, I could come in here with my color M01, which is an emitter, and apply a material to that. So I applied that emitter material to that. Well now, these lights are now in here as emitters, and so they look like they're casting light, which is great. Um, the only other thing that you may want to consider, though, is because this is only an emitter, it's not actually casting any shadows or anything like that inside of your model, so it's a little bit unrealistic. So probably what you would do in this particular situation is you would also add an Inkscape spotlight in the center of this light, and you would just use this, you would just Make sure that it's slightly below this surface right here, and you would just make sure that you point these straight up and down. And I wish there was a little bit better of a uh, way to do this. I think if I click right here maybe, there we go then I can point this straight up and down. And so you can see how now, because I was inside of that component, and one thing you might want to consider is minimizing the outliner right here. Because I was inside of that component when I applied that light, well now that light has been applied not only to my one component, right here, it's been applied to all of them. So now, 
what I have is I have an actual spotlight shining off of each one of these lights inside of my office building. And so you could play around with this a little bit more if you wanted to. I'm actually fairly happy with the result that we've got right here. Um, you could definitely, um, use, adjusting those spotlights, you could adjust those so that they're brighter or dimmer, however you want to do that. In this case, I'm going to kind of leave this as is. Um, I'm going to call this good. And so let's take a look really quick at what we have. We have our... Um, we have our hanging lights that have a rectangle light and our emitter and then we also have our can lights that have an emitter face and then a spotlight pointing down and so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to export a render from inscape so to do that i'm just going to go into my settings we're just going to go over to capture and we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna look at our resolutions and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this as a full HD image. That's gonna be 1920 by 1080. And you can see how this tells me to export an image. I'm just gonna press Shift F9. So from inside Enscape, I'm gonna click Shift F9. That's gonna render a copy of my image and it's gonna save it to that folder. So now if I go into that folder, and I pull that image up, you can see how I have a pretty good rendering in here um, based on the models that we have, the lighting that we've added. I'm pretty happy with this night scene. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Are you using Enscape? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.